qualification match 14 all the robots are on their way immediately 597 taking control of the red switch over on blue trying to place power cube but not quite getting it there and it looks like that's all the cubes that will be scored in auto and now the drivers are taking control right away Triton Tech rushing to the blue side of the scale attempting to place that first cube and they do get the first say on the scale but Surf City Vikings is quickly answering that with the cube on the red side Blue now has control of their own switch with a couple of cubes. Scale is one to one, about neutral, slightly leaning towards blue. Pride Tech hoping to add to that, now having firm blue control of the scale. On the Red Alliance, Titanium trying to pick up a cube there along the switch wall. Their alliance partners, 597, grabbing some cubes from the pyramid, look like they're hoping to bring them to the exchange. Team Sprocket on blue, bringing cues over to the exchange for their side, which they can use for power-ups later on in the bat. Meanwhile, blue has kept control of the scale. Titanium's hoping to contest that, but 58-57 still placing for blue as Titanium drops a cube of their own. With about a minute 10 left to go in the match, blue's control of the scale is uh, quite a large lead. Blue has played in the meantime a levitate power up, earning a free climb for their alliance. Looks like Red just about to do the same, earning them a levitate as well. Blue's lead on the scale is now commanding. Triton Tech still adding to that as they place another cube on the blue side. It'll be hard for Red to make that difference up. Meanwhile, control of switches has not been contested throughout the entire match. Looks like Surf City Vikings now are moving around a bit as we're moving into the final 30 seconds of the match. Still chances for teams to score some last power cubes. Looks like Triton Tech and 597 each scoring for their respective alliances in the exchange. And now teams are starting to approach the platform. Looks like Surf City Vikings on the Red Alliance hoping to latch onto that rung. See if they're able to get into position. Not quite, but they're trying to realign in the final 10 seconds. Blue trying to place the last few cubes, falls off, but they will have time to earn points by parking. Meanwhile, Surf City trying to climb, but run out of time in the final few seconds of the match.
and our results for that match are in. Blue Alliance winning with a score of 349 to 308. Red Alliance does, however, pick up one ranking point from the auto quest. Now, let's hand it over to RSN. Blue able to pull out the win there. How'd they do it? Yeah, they were able to really coordinate well with each other during that match and kind of allocate resources appropriately to make sure they stayed ahead on the scale and were also attacking other areas of the, the gameplay. Yeah, we really only saw 58-57 going to the scale late after it had mostly been settled, not being in the way of 60-72 who's looked good picking up from the opponent's switch fence cube area. Yeah, and the Red Alliance here was actually able to keep it really close by utilizing their vault really well and filling the vault. Um, and they were also able to get that auto quest ranking point, so that'll help them with their rankings as well, even though they lost the match. Yeah, getting, it, getting ranking points that aren't affected by your opponents is really critical, because if all you're doing is being in good matches, that might run out later in the schedule, but if you're able to control those, you have a much better sense of your destiny. Looking ahead to 